Hey, I'm Chip, the washing machine man. Today we're going to talk about suspension rods, what they are, how they operate, and how, how you replace them on your washing machine. If your washing machine uh, bangs around in the spin cycle, chances are that your suspension rods are shot and need, need replacing. Stick around and I'll show you exactly what to do. Here I'm showing how to test your uh, suspension rods. You push down sharply on your agitator. If it bounces, they're, they're no, no good. Best uh, case is when you push down, that there's a lot of resistance and it doesn't bounce at all. Here we see a typical Whirlpool style suspension rod. You can see here that you have the spring assembly on the bottom and the hanger at the top separated by the, the, the hanging rod. Uh, okay, now let's talk about the components of the suspension rods. As you can see these next slides, I've laid out all the components of the suspension rod here on the table. First you have the rod, and then the, there's the keeper washer that holds all, all this assembly together. Then you have the bottom spring retainer, and the spring, and then you have the top spring retainer that houses the part that does all the magic. That's the linear dampener. As you can see, it's just a stiff piece of foam designed to grip the rod to dampen the oscillations caused by the spring compressing and decompressing during the operation of the washing machine. Next you have a, the shoulder, which is a hard plastic piece that functions as a ball that fits into a socket that's on the uh, side of the machine wash tub. Lastly, we have this little plastic piece here that, uh, that rides about one third uh, up, the, up the rod to about halfway. And I think it mitigates uh, any uh, vibrations in the rod itself. Uh, while the wa washing machine is in operation. Right here you can see a typical Whirlpool lower end model uh, suspension rod uh, uh, fully assembled and it <clears throat> shows the uh, spring and the uh, all the all the parts to it and then that the, the little white cap thing at the top is uh, the hanger that fits into the corner of your your washing machine. It also kind of rides in, in, a, in a socket that uh, is made of a hard plastic and, and uh, is self-lubricating. Here we have another design uh, of a suspension rod. This one has a, a black piece on the, on the top of it that is uh, essentially the socket for the, the ball joint, which is the little white piece below it. And they snap into uh, the side of the tub, uh, tubs that don't have the, uh, the socket built into it. Here you can see the uh, where it snaps in. You can see that slot where it snaps into to a little hole in the side of the, the machine. And right here is a, uh, a Samsung design. It's a little bit more engineering put into this design. You can see all this uh, this black goopy stuff here. It's called dampening grease. It's real sticky grease, and it it functions to uh, mitigate movement of all these parts together. It also has uh, a rubber sleeve that goes over the spring that um, it it slows a, a rapid compression and decompression of the, of the spring itself. At the top of it, uh, this particular rod has a, a fixed hanger on it. You can't, you can't take it off or on. It has to fit into a slot in the top of the machine. This is a GE uh, uh, design, which is really good. It uses a piston and um, the piston fits into this cylinder which uh, houses the spring and the piston functions as uh, friction against the cylinder and also uh, air, uh, compresses the air inside that cylinder to mitigate movement. It also has a different design on its hanger and you can see that red stuff on the hanger is, is um, dampening grease as well. Here's the same uh, rod with the, the piston uh, right at the bottom of it. GE got it, got it right when they made these, these uh, these rods. Now these hangers here you can they will uh, the the hook of the rod will fit in that slot. This is another G uh, a design. This one is different because it has a the piston it's made of steel and it has this uh, o-ring on it right here that uh, fits tightly against that tapering uh, cylinder and it uh, it really mitigates any movement. It also has a slotted uh, hanger on it. Okay, let's talk a little bit about the science of uh, what's going on with uh, the modern-day washing machines and, and to, to understand uh, 
uh, what's happening inside uh, the cabinet, you need to understand a little uh, bit about dynamic stability. Uh, there's three types of dynamic stability that's occurring inside your uh, washing machine cabinet. You have neutral dynamic stability, positive dynamic stability, and when it's out of balance, you have the negative dynamic stability. Let's cover each one of those. So the first one let's, let's cover is the neutral dynamic stability. Neutral dynamic stability is what's going on when uh, your washing machine is in a normal agitation motion. Uh, you have uh, spring compressions occur and, and then the decompression occurs. And the, the compressions and decompressions are just about, about equal. Uh, basically because of, uh, of the uh, linear dampener keeping that, that spring from bouncing. It compresses, decompresses, and, and you just have a, a steady, steady movement of, of, the, uh, of the tub as it goes uh, through its wash cycle. The next type of stability we should discuss is positive dynamic stability. And uh, this occurs when the suspension rods are working correctly. Uh, mainly you'll see this during the spin, spin cycle. And what happens is you, if, if your clothes are in, in, the, in the tub and they're not well balanced, when the, when the spin cycle starts, you have a heavier load of clothes on one side of the basket or the other, which causes uh, a large depression of, of, the, of the springs as it goes around. So one spring will depress uh, and then it'll, it'll decompress and, and come back. Well, with positive dynamic stability, the uh, linear dampeners uh, prevent the spring from uh, the spring from bouncing and, and making an oscillation greater than than the original and as the uh, as as the balance ring on top of the spin basket adjusts the, the load then the, the oscillations will smooth out into uh, just a, a, a normal steady vibration uh, less than what it, it began with Okay, and when your uh, when your suspension rods are worn out, you uh, run into a situation called a negative dynamic stability. And this happens when the linear dampeners no longer uh, function to mitigate the the uh, increasing oscillations in the in the spring compressions and decompressions. And what happens is your your clothes will be in maybe one side of the basket, and as the basket starts to spin, the one rod will depress. Uh, then the next one will depress, and the other, one, and while it gets 180 degrees away, the the one that's 180 degrees away will decompress, and, it, and its decompression is a bounce. It's more than uh, the original compression of the spring, and as the basket spins up, these oscillations increase, getting larger and larger and larger, and the tub the tub starts to bounce and, and bang around inside the cabinet, and it can do lots of damage. Uh, you can it can uh, damage the the splash ring on top of the of the machine, and uh, it can it can it could go as far as bending the uh, the spin basket post, which is a uh, an occurrence that will total total the machine, so and, and not repairable or economically repairable. I'll show you a, an example of this in these next videos uh, coming up. Uh, You'll see. You'll see what I'm talking this about. This customer uh, called me one day and complaining about her machine was out of balance after uh, she washed a heavy comforter in it. Uh, she put it in and and went to town and came back and uh, the machine was no longer functioning and and her comforter was wet. Well, what had happened? It it, it spun up exactly like it's supposed to, and the heavy weight of that comforter has bent the speed of uh, the spin post on this basket, and. Uh, I don't think any change in the suspension rods isn't going to fix that. You could put uh, race car shocks on it, and it would it wouldn't fix this machine. This is uh, something I found when I pulled a basket out that was it, the machine was not no longer in balance. I pulled this basket out, and all this uh, corrosion was in the bottom. When I when I looked down at the uh, the tub hub, I found a hole in it. And if you look at that, there's several holes in that tub hub. Uh, and when I when I turned the, the, the tub upside down, the uh, manganese part of this tub hub had corroded so much that it has cracked more than I would say almost two thirds of the way around, and uh, it, it had caused this tub to to slope down. So how do you change your suspension rods? It's a pretty easy thing to do. 
uh, depends on um, which model machine you have, but they all change about the same. I use a lanyard to uh, because because you have to get into these things from the top, and you're going to have to take the top off of the cabinet and uh, lean it backwards like this. And uh, I always and, and see the um, the uh, lid. You can see it's open here. A lot of people will uh, take Gorilla Tape and uh, tape that lid shut, but I. I've done it so much and I don't like to tear tape all the time so I just kind of lean it back every time. You can see these the four corners. These are the four cor corners where your suspension rods hang off the hangers in these uh, ball sockets on the on the four corners of of your machine. This machine is a whirlpool. You have to feed that that rod in from the bottom and uh, it <clears throat> goes up to a corner post here with that hook and then uh, your hanger fits uh, against the, the rod. You turn the, the hook 90 degrees and it fits solidly down in there. Now the back of that machine was off just for, for a convenience of, of filming. Um, this, you can see that slot in the side of the, of the, the uh, machine. And uh, this, is, uh, this engineer was thinking about the uh, service technicians when he uh, designed this. You can change this, this rod without, without uh, turning that machine on its side to to uh, pull the rod, you can you can uh, just detach them from the top, and there it is in uh, already uh, put together. You can see that the black uh, socket for the the suspension rod there. This is a, a, a Samsung model. Uh, the socket's built into the side of the machine. You can see the grease around there they use for uh, for dampening purposes, and it also fits into a slot. At the bottom and at the top. I hope you liked uh, this video. If you did, uh, thank you for watching it. And please like, subscribe, and you can hit that notification bell too. And I'd like to, uh, you know, the more people like my videos, the more content I'll, I'll produce.